All right, the next matter on our agenda is the evaluation of the interim executive director and consideration removal of interim tile. A portion of this discussion may be taken up in executive session. Uh, we'll start with the chair of personnel committee, Governor Alex Stevens. And these materials are in part on page 296, in part in box as far as they're confidential and in part in the late, late materials, the first page thereof. Sorry, I was having difficulty getting back to my screen. Uh, so, uh, what you have, um, there were a number of things that were submitted to the uh, Board of Governors for their consideration. Um, and those include um, the performance assessment instrument, um, just to remind you of what, what the uh, questions were, and then a summary of the performance assessment results. And uh, that summary um, also provides for a, a, a breakout and a look at um, how the assessment results were done. You may recall, governors, that this was an assessment that was to be um, uh, performed by the Board of Governors and by the executive management team. And um, so the assessment results are the numerical results and we even uh, broke out in that just so people could see um, how the, the Board of Governors um, rated the, the assessment and how the executive management team rated. Uh, from my judgment, they are not, um, they are not that far, far apart. Um, and then of course we had uh, comments. Uh, you have a self-assessment from Tara. Uh, the comments are, are those that are in uh, the uh, inbox um, that we may refer to uh, when we go into, I believe, executive session to have the conversation with the executive director regarding those comments. Um, there are Excel, there's an Excel uh, spreadsheet showing the individual scoring uh, with names redacted, just so that you can actually see how each rater did. Um, and uh, following our conversation with uh, the interim executive director, uh, we will come back there is a recommendation to finalize the um, to finalize the process, which is to have the Board of Governors give its final rating uh, and uh, what I call uh, what I call their the qualitative statement, which is basically um, on the scale what would what would the results show? And I have provided a proposed uh, final rating and a final uh, assessment. And, um, and then following that action, and I think all of those actions need to take place um, before then a subsequent action that will also be before you. And that is an action that, that came to and was passed out of the a personnel committee as a recommendation to the Board of Governors that um, we remove the interim designation uh, of, of Tara Nevitt and um, the, essentially that she becomes the executive director, um, understanding that that's not finalized until we both, uh, until both um, the terms of that employment contract would be decided, including not only compensation, but also um, how long the term will last. So I think that's, 
that's it. If there if there are any questions from any of the governors. Uh, just yes. about process. If we're going to move to substance, we can move into executive session. Great. Um, President Left Williams Ruth. I just have a couple procedural questions. Um, is is it tradition in the WSBA to have a set term for contract with the executive director, or has it in the past? And I know that Director Littlewood was there for many years, but even before her, was it just a an open ended um, contract or or what? And then two, um, and this has nothing to do with interim director Nevitt, but was there an actual search where other candidates were at all interviewed in this process? And if you can't answer that second part, I totally understand. Mr. Mr. President, may I? Please, but okay. I just want us to make sure we're keeping to the topic at hand, not going off uh, topic. And there may be answers to some of these questions that come later. Not today, but yeah, please go ahead, Governor Stevens. Well, they, they, they so uh, first of all, and I think they are germane given all of the actions or the two actions that we, we wish to take. Um, so from, from my time on the, uh, on the personnel committee, which has been the entire time I've been on the board of governors, um, uh, when we when we finally we looked at um, the original information, and I don't believe there was a a a term um, initially, but in any case, over time, um, uh, at least I I I come to the conclusion that with successful. Uh, or what I would call successful evaluations, she continued on. That was the predecessor. The, the, the personnel committee has, and the board has adopted a term limit now, a, a, fu a full term limit, meaning uh, the board has basically said uh, that uh, we're going to set no more than a, no more than a cumulative period of 10 years. How that's to be done is up to the, the, the Board of Governors when it enters into the contract uh, with the with the whoever the executive director is. Um, and that'll be one of the things that the Board of Governors will need to to take up. Um, and so that would that, for instance, is the subject for the contingency of if we decide to remove the interim label, then that is not just the final piece because both compensation and term uh, would be there. Uh, did, does anybody else want to correct anything I had to say? Governor Grabicki? Um, I believe that the issue of the term is a two-part issue and that it's governed by our bylaws. We amended our bylaws, if I recall correctly, to say that um, the term of office of an executive director shall not exceed 10 years unless, I think it's either two-thirds or three-quarters of the board votes to um, go beyond 10 years. In terms of um, any term in an employment agreement, the executive director under the bylaws serves um, at the pleasure of the Board of Governors. The Board of Governors under the bylaws can dismiss or terminate the executive director at any time. So I think in formulating a written employment agreement for the executive director, um, she would be an at-will employee and we would reference the provision in the bylaws that says that the Board of uh, Governors has the authority to um, uh, terminate that employment pursuant to the terms of the, of the bylaws. So I don't think we'd be saying, okay, you've got a contract for three years. She's essentially going to be at will as the previous executive directors were. Did I get that right, Rajiv? Uh, you got it absolutely right. And my plan would be to negotiate based on our existing contract with the executive interim executive director, if the board were to go with this direction. Governor Stevens? Yes. Um, actually, um, I'm, I disagree. I think it's up to the board to decide how it wants to to move forward forward with that. Um, and um, 
I think there are probably still discussions to have in personnel, but one of the, at least one of the things, and that'll be probably for the rest of you down the line, um, but I think there are good reasons to have um, renewable uh, terms in the contract so that somebody also knows, not just in the idea of, oh, we can determine, terminate you at any time, but also using performance evaluations as an indicator about how someone is, is doing and whether or not there is a renewal. I think the Board of Governors needs to take a look at that, um, and that will be uh, uh, you, Governor Brent, and, and, and others, but uh, I think that needs to be really sorted through. Fantastic. Again, we're getting a little more further afield than our topic. Um, it is on topic, but 